Okay, now that we have our little uh, server in this cloud, like just to reemphasize that, you can see I'm in my local machine, and yet I still have this server in the cloud here. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to install a web server on it so we can see how that works. So the first thing is downloading. This is the hardest part. It's annoying. We're going to download Chrome. Uh, just I'll show you why in a sec. It is Internet Explorer by default? This is a Windows Server edition. It's everything is locked down on it. So you just you click Add forever. So I'm just trying to get. I mean that, that's a good practice for a real server environment, but it's a real pain in uh, an environment where we're just learning. So go ahead and accept and install. You can download Firefox if you want. You could even use Internet Explorer. But uh, I'm just going to click through all these and click here to install. Yeah, yeah. You want to keep adding them. You can actually disable this, but it's almost just easier just to go ahead and click. Anyway, so once you get it, so you can download the file. There we go. Finally download it. I'll just save and downloads. I'll go ahead and I'll run it. And this will just take a minute, and we're going to install Google Chrome. Okay, and now it's installed. This is a little bit easier to go ahead and uh, install stuff. Now, there's lots of different ways of doing this. I'm just going to download WAMP. It's Apache, MySQL, and where everything's just pre-configured. Um, Let's see here. It's a 32-bit edition. You can download Apache manually. Uh, the point is to bring up a, a web server, and we could even turn on Microsoft's own. Uh, they have I, I, ISS. Um, but we're just going to install this one for the purpose of this. I'll accept it. Go ahead and install WAMP. Now this is all happening on the remote server in the cloud. Um, WAMP always likes to know where your uh, browser is. I'm just going to give it Internet Explorer. <laughs> and I'll just keep the defaults for all these. So we'll go ahead and we'll launch WAMP now. So that little thing should turn green here in a moment. Meaning that it's running. So if we go to localhost, oh, and uh, you have to say HTTP localhost, um, we'll go ahead and we'll get the core WAMP. And it's just letting us know that it's running. So we can see that it's running. So let's go ahead and uh, do go to C, WAMP, WW, so this is the root. And let's go ahead and let's make a new mm, text folder called, oh, I had to change something here. You know, Alt T, folder options, view. Actually, I'll just show you how to do that. So you go layout, menu bar tool, folder options, view, hide extensions for known file types. We do not want that. I apply it to all folders. So that way we can uh, we can see the file extension for all of these. And uh, one more little thing we're just going to so now we can go new with text file but we're actually going to change it to uh, HTML. Test.html we can go ahead and we're going to click on it and say edit. Um, there's no edit on this one. Mm, don't have this on the server. So we're going to go to Notepad. I'm just going to download that. And spell it right. Install it real quickly. It's just a little text editing program that will. Uh, Uh, there we go. I didn't run it. I don't like that updater. Sounds good. Finish that. Okay, so now we have Notepad plus plus running. So now we can go ahead and we can click on our test.html and say edit Notepad plus plus. Hi, this is my web page. And we'll save that. And now when we go to our local host and we'll call test.html. Hi, this is my web page. So at this point, 
so this is the this is the remote server. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to bring up uh, Chrome on my local machine here, and I'm going to try to go to the address of the server here. And we're, let's talk about what happens. And I'll copy that, and I hit enter, and you notice that once again it's waiting. The reason for that is, it's the same reason why we couldn't connect with the remote host. We need to change the security setting so it allows it in. So um, we can do our custom one. We can just say port 80 from everywhere. Add that. We apply the rule. And so now you can see that it will set port 80 because that's what uh, patch is running on. Now we'll go again. Now, so we've got through one of them. This, the second one is the server itself. Port 80 is almost certainly closed on the firewall. So let me show you how to get rid of that. We're just going to type firewall. And you want, you want to be careful opening up these ports and stuff. We'll just do the simpler version here. So allow a program through the firewall. And I'm going to add a port. I'm going to call it HTTP. I say port number 80. And I say OK. So now let's see from our remote machine here on campus. Oh, oh that's that's progress. Now we'll do test.html. Bah. What, what am I missing here? Uh, well, look at this. Uh, so this this is a, this is a message from the Apache server running on the machine here, and uh, once again we are stopped. And uh, this is a pretty good illustration of just the different levels of security. Because what happens is when you're configuring servers, they they usually try to make it so it's the most uh, secure possible by default. Now I think what's going on here is if we go to the Apache um, uh, comp file. Uh, let's actually let's just go there and open it up um, it's almost certainly blocking it at Apache as well let's go to WAMP uh, let's see the config files da, 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 da. Yeah, where's that at kind of a big directory to navigate here <laughs> And uh, let's see what we have here. So you can see that uh, you know we're loading the PHP modules and the different stuff here. Let's look at the root directory here. Let's see if they're forbidding us from. Uh, yep. So in this one, in the HTTPD comp, so in the directory, wham, that's our root directory. It's saying that deny from everywhere but allow if it's that address, which is always the local host. So we're going to just go ahead and we're going to say, hmm, we're just going to change this to allow deny. It's been a while since I've done this, but uh, let's, uh, let's see if this works. Save that. We will restart the Apache server with our WAMP. Services, restart service. It goes orange and green again. So now let's go to our. This is this is this is the machine on campus where I'm at. If we can talk to our our server there, and sometimes you just got to. Uh, might have misdone that. Curse this little machine here. If anything, this is a good example of uh, the different. Uh, different challenges you run into. So anyway, sorry, I'm back on the server here. Let's go and undo what I did. Uh, so instead of saying deny from all, that means everywhere on the internet, we're going to say de deny from none. Helps to get the syntax right here. Um, yeah, so now let's go ahead and uh, we'll restart Apache again. Yeah, so what happened last time is I just set the order, but I didn't actually tell what the deny and the allow was. So now, <laughs> after three levels of security that stops us, we will try to talk to our remote server, and there we are.
hello, this is my web page. And anywhere in the world at this moment, I'm going to shut down this instance in a moment, could type in this address and they would hit my server that I've created in the cloud and they could see my web page.